What's going on guys? In this video, I'd like to introduce you to what I believe to be the most affordable budget macro photography setup. So in front of me, I have a Canon PowerShot SX40HS digital camera and a Raynox DCR clip-on macro lens that goes onto the front of the camera. And this is a camera that is a digital camera, not an SLR, meaning the lens is not removable and you cannot change the lens. However, you can buy this macro clip-on lens from Raynox that was made in Japan and it simply clips onto the front of your camera and you can zoom in on insects, flowers, anything in macro and take amazing close-up photographs using this lens and camera setup along with a tripod. So the reason I believe this is the most affordable macro photography setup is because you can get amazing quality photographs and 1080p video and this camera is only about $100 in used condition on eBay. So you can get them for between $100 to $150 and good macro photography lenses for SLR cameras can cost $500 or more. This lens costs $50 and it allows you to get closer than really any SLR macro lens that you would pay hundreds of dollars for. As you can see, super zoom on really anything you want to photograph. So let me give you a demonstration of this setup. So obviously what else you're going to need is a tripod and I got this one free from a friend, but you can buy a $30 tripod at any electronics store and it should do good enough for you to get started out with. If you buy a tripod you don't like, then obviously find one that you do like that works well and is steady. So to get macro photographs using this setup, what we're going to do here is we're going to switch into AV mode. So set your camera to AV mode. You could probably get away with auto mode, but I like AV mode because you can switch to manual focus among other things. So that's what we're going to do is we're going to switch the camera into manual focus, some AV mode, manual focus, and that's it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to find something to photograph and we're going to zoom in on the insect using this lens and we're going to get our nice $150 to $200 budget macro setup and we're going to get some close-up pictures of insects such as the one climbing up my camera right now. So I'm actually recording with the Canon PowerShot SX60HS, which is a newer model of this cheaper, older camera. And let me show you what kind of pictures that you can get. So to get macro photos, simply lift up your camera with your tripod and find some insects to photograph. So I'm out in a swampy area. So it shouldn't be hard to find something to photograph. So let's just look around on some of these plants here. And it may be hard to find good subjects that will stand still, that's in the sunlight and you know, with everything just going for you, but with time and practice, you can really get better at what you're doing and that will give you nicer shots quicker because it doesn't take long for me to get awesome close-up macro shots so long as it's not too windy. As you can see, it's pretty windy out where I am right now. But here is a stink bug. So here's how I'm gonna set up my shot. He's facing towards the right, so I'm gonna try to get my camera as close as possible without scaring him away, which I'm not doing a very good job because I'm shaking the whole plant. But that's where you get the camera. As you can see, I am about, I'm about six inches away from the stink bug that's right there. And then I'm just gonna zoom in on him, like so, and I can get my shots. So let me show you from this side what that's gonna look like, so. 
So I'm just going to lift up my tripod right here. So I can get a nice angle with my camera. And let's get our shot. So as you can see, all I see is blurry and green. So let's find our subject down there. So here he is already. So this is fully zoomed out. You can see the outline of the black lens. And all I got to do is zoom in, get a nice focused shot. I'm in autofocus even. No, I'm in manual, but. And there's one shot. I can get an even closer. So this is full 35 times zoom. And I'm focusing in on his eyes by moving the camera back and forth on the tripod. So he's on the move. So I'm in an awkward position to get a photograph, but as you can see, that's all there really is to it. We're just aiming the tripod from about six to eight inches away. Zoom in on what you want to photograph. Get the proper focus. And snap your shot. And hopefully it's in focus, and if it's not, readjust and try again. So you can do this in manual focus or in auto focus as well. So he's sitting still now. Let's focus in on the eyes. Hold down shutter button. And there you go. So another thing that you need to know about macro photography is the further close in that you want to shoot, or the closer in you want to go, the further back you're going to need to move your camera. And if you want to get a shot that's far away, then you're going to need to move your camera in really close. So that's basic macro photography using an amazing budget setup.